Most recently, iReader has become known for releasing the first color e-ink device ever using the new technology that basically everyone has followed suit. But I don't know if you knew that iReader has note-taking devices as well, and they have a huge market share in China. They've actually made their own pen, the iReader X Pen. We have never seen this. It is a 2020 release. They sent this to us for review, so we're going to crack it open and see what is inside. So already, right out of the box, it is looking extremely different than other styluses. Most styluses are using that black design, nothing really special. This pen is totally unique in the sense that it has an aluminum core all the way through the entire middle of the device, meaning that there's an aluminum block that the entire device is made out of and it is then wrapped in plastic. Why this is important is for a couple things. Structural integrity, meaning it's very strong, and it's nicely weighted. They also have a little canister at the back with two replacement nib holsters right there so you can hide some nibs in there so if your nibs break or run out you can just swap them out. Even the inside of the pen cap is full aluminum as well as the lapel clip. The tip is running a plastic tip with a plastic body overall but the writing experience is quite good and the pressure sensitivity works very well. And we have the box here and there might be some more stuff down here. There is nothing left in the box except right here. This could be documentation or perhaps some refills or both. So opening this up, we do not have any refills actually, we just have the information for the pen. So although it tells you, you can put the refills in there, there are no refills in the box itself. So that is a little bit strange and there's nothing else in here, so the box is actually sealed off. Another huge draw of this pen is that not only is it good looking, it's fully cross compatible with Supernote. Moan W7, even the Remarkable, and it functions perfectly on all devices. The pencil works on the Remarkable, the pressure sensitivity works on the Supernote, the W7, Moan, and the Onyx products, and Boyu products. It just, it works across all platforms, so you're not going to run into any issues, and it's using a plastic nib, meaning that it's not using ceramic or graphite, and why this is important is because it's not going to scratch any of the other devices that you try to use it on. This device has so much cross compatibility that even on the Remarkable 2 as you can see here with the pencil selected not only can we use the pencil and all of its pressure sensitivity but it even uses tilt just like the Remarkable pen does. As light or as hard as you want to push it, it works perfectly fine. And this isn't even a Remarkable product. This is a completely third party eye reader pen and it's doing an amazing job. The iReader X Pen is one of the best looking pens in the game. Its cross compatibility cannot be matched. It's weighted very well. It's made out of high quality materials and it's not going to break the bank. It's only $49. You can grab this from the Goody Reader store at goodyreader.com slash blog slash shop. And if you want to see more on this and other amazing Wacom enabled devices, go to youtube.com slash goodyreader. And for a full review of the X Pen by iReader, this is Peter.